Section 3. The True Distance of the Sun and Stars As it is now demonstrated that the Earth is a plane, the distance of the Sun and stars may readily be measured by plane trigonometry. The baseline in any operation being horizontal and always a carefully measured one, the process becomes exceedingly simple. Let the altitude of the sun be taken on a given day at 12 o'clock at the high water mark on the seashore at Brighton in Sussex and at the same hour at the high water mark of the River Thames near London Bridge. The difference in the sun's altitude taken simultaneously from two stations upon the same meridian and the distance between the stations or the length of the base line ascertained are all the elements required for calculating the exact distance of the Sun from London or Brighton but as this distance is the hypotenuse of a triangle whose base is the Earth's surface and vertical side the zenith distance of the Sun it follows that the distance of the Sun from that part of the Earth to which it is vertical is less than the distance from London in the diagram figure 26 let LB represent the baseline from London to Brighton this is figure 26, section 3, figure 1. In the diagram figure 26, let LB represent the baseline from London to Brighton, a distance of 51 statute miles. The altitude at L and at B, taken at the same moment of time, will give the distance LS or BS, the angle of altitude at L or B with the length of LS or BS will then give the vertical distance of the Sun S from E or the place which is immediately underneath it this distance will be thus found to be considerably less than 4000 miles the following are the particulars of an observation made a few years ago by the officers engaged in the ordnance survey altitude of the Sun at London 55 degrees 13 minutes altitude taken at the same time on the grounds of a public school at Ackworth in Yorkshire 53 degrees 2 minutes in the distance between the two places in a direct line as measured by triangulation is 151 statute miles from these elements the true distance of the Sun may be readily computed and proved to be under 4,000 miles since the above was written an officer of the Royal Engineers in the headquarters of the Ordnance Survey at Southampton has furnished the following elements of observations recently made southern station Sun's altitude 45 degrees northern ditto 38 degrees the calculation made from these elements gives the same result viz that the actual distance of the Sun from the earth is less than 4,000 miles the same method of measuring distances applies equally to the stars and it is easy to demonstrate beyond the possibility of doubt so long as assumed premises are excluded that all the visible objects in the firmament are contained within the distance of 6,000 miles from these demonstrable distances it follows unavoidably that the magnitude of the Sun moon stars etc is very small much smaller than the earth from which they are measured and to which therefore they cannot possibly be other than secondary and subservient end of section three section four thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video presentation if you did please subscribe to my youtube channel like the video and share it on your favorite social media sites there's a lot more to come so stay tuned and we'll see you back next time